More news on Fox now. Maybe the Super Bowl wasn't as secure as we thought. Some pranksters are bragging about pulling a fast one Super Bowl weekend. They claim they snuck into the big game and they have the pictures to prove it. Fox 30's Carl Torb joins us now live from Alltail Stadium with more on this pass scam. Carl? That's right, Jack. We learned about this from a website. And these guys claim to come on down to Jacksonville and made a fake one of these, a fake media pass, and made three of them to get into Alltail Stadium Super Bowl Sunday. More than 80,000 fans, and these three that we found online claim they were there too. <laughs> Cheering, screaming, and sporting bogus media passes. Their website, complete with photos next to the field, shows how they did it. It starts with a road trip to the River City. Next, a photo with a Philadelphia TV reporter who proudly sports her real media pass. After a little photo editing, they say they created their own fraudulent credential. Gum wrappers are used for the football emblem, the NFL seal, Dr. to LFN to avoid any copyright legalities in case they're nabbed at the gate or in the stands. Just how easy is it to sneak into the Super Bowl? Well, a ticket to the actual game, very hard to duplicate. There's a barcode on top, and this ticket is scanned at the gate. The media pass, a little different story. There is name and a picture. But the person at the gate basically glances at this very, very quickly. And again, thanks to a photo of the real pass, the Tricky Trio obtains their own access code located above the picture. The website also shows post-game news conferences, photos taken from just above the field, and the headline, Hacksonville, Super Bowl Hack 2. The first hack job, last year in Houston. Here are the pictures. And again, we see the same familiar faces at Reliance Stadium this time. This was really the Pro Bowl of law enforcement. We had 53 agencies. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office spent around $3.7 million alone on Super Bowl security. When we told them about Hacksonville, they told us they don't know if the scam was real, but they will indeed notify the NFL. So next year in Detroit, we'll see if the pranksters will three-peat. Reporting live at Altau Stadium, I'm Carl Torr, Fox 30 News.